Go on then, succinctly okay. describe what's uh, happening today. Oh, have you seen the moon though? That's cray cray. That's the sun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it it kind of looks like the moon. Let's not put that bit in anything. You might be the one that truly Well, it's a big day, isn't it? Look at this beardy f Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> calm down, calm down, Juniper. Come on in, guys, come on in. Oi, oi. It's a dog. It's a pink nosed, uh, it's a pink nosed moron dog. <laughs> tea, yeah. Bacon on the go. Coffee. Or tea. Tea. Yes. Coffee for me. Yes, I know. Oi, oi, oi. So, Al. Hello. Do you want an egg in your sandwich? No, just bacon for me. Are you sure? Tammy, yeah. an egg? No, thank you. Uh, I've got ketchup. I've got ketchup. Yoo well, we're hoiking the um, the throne to the little alehouse, uh, where it's going to be on loan for well an indefinite period. We don't really know how long. It's going to be months. You know, I mean, truthfully, moving the throne is a major a major kind of event in its own right. So uh, we try and do as little of it of it as possible. So that's the plan really, we've got to get it out the back here, down here, down those stairs, down there, out into the boot of the car, get it to the pub, get it out, get it up the stairs, into the pub, find a place for it to live. Yeah. And then what are we doing? Getting drunk. Doing a Q&A drunk. your backyard so we can yeah. get the throne out. Uh, That's ready. Let's uh let's... <laughs> lovely belly shot, thanks Al. Oh, they, they come thick and fast. Getting the broken windscreen in. Oh yeah. I think it's part of the charm isn't it? I'm so dry. Right, well, we're in the little alehouse Harrogate, and finally the throne project is finished. Oh my god, I am so happy that that's the case. In fact, in a lot of ways, I'm really pleased because I kind of want to move on to something else now. I want to kind of leave the throne behind us. Not that in any way I'm happy about the throne or anything like it, and now I'm just waffling. <laughs> But, uh, you took the words out of my brain. Yeah, Forget just, the throne. <laughs> Tammy's here. Yeah, yeah Tammy's joining us again. Hi. Mm -hmm. it's cheers, really... Tammy. Oh, cheers again. Cheers. cheers. Just to tell the audience that we are having a pint every 10 minutes. So okay. when the alarm goes off, we may have to down the rest of our pint, pause, get yeah. another pint. So just so you know we why the phone, I'm just going to put the phone yeah. there. In fact, that is perfect because that ties into. Rich and the owners of uh, Little Owl House have done a little intro about the aesthetics behind what they uh, ethos. ethos behind the pub. Can I do the thing you do? What's that? Cut to that now. Right, we've kept talking about the Little Ale House, so uh, here we are with Rich, the owner. Um, owner manager? Owner manager? I think my, uh, my, my boss is hidden behind the camera, actually, the wife, but I'm the. Uh, I'm the man on the ground. <laughs> right. 
Uh, well, Rich, tell us something about the pub. Tell us, you know, what's your, how do you operate the pub? Uh, we obviously know, but for, you know, those of the people out there watching who don't know. So I guess the whole point of this pub is, like any micro pub, is small space, intimate atmosphere, conversation is king, and good products, which are mainly beer. Um, so with all the uh, drawing your work and woodwork that Alice has been doing, it kind of definitely fits in with this uh, in keeping style of a uh, English traditional pub. So it's great to have proper hard woods with real craftsmanship, stuff that will stand the test of time. And that, that kind of uh, interior matches the kind of products that we're trying to sell and the kind of people we're trying to get through our doors and our existing customers. This has just been one of those kind of once in a lifetime jobs where you get to kind of stamp my style of joinery possibly onto a pub and the, the clients kind of our views of what the pub should be seem to have kind of matched and you know I'm really proud of what we've done here and you know the, the timber that clad the side of the bar for example that was a raw piece of rotten timber that sat in a field for a long time and now suddenly it's been brought to life and it's in a pub and people are seeing it and you know commenting on it and this the idea of the traditional pub I think we've really managed to kind of create that in a little intimate spot like uh, the little alehouse Harrogate. Get no. yourself in. <laughs> Nice one. Perfect. And now we're back. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> wow, time traveling. Yeah. Oh, oh I am. unprofessional. Okay. Oh, oh no, all, that's the timer. There's a timer. Yeah. Oh, right, we okay. have to all go yeah. drink yuppie. Oh, okay. On, and they'll be like 257, and we'll be like, what? 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 257. <laughs> That's what you sounded like then. You were like, and one side this goes to be 257 <laughs> for the strap. Massive Let's lightweight. Get out, what the f Yeah, you're all ready. <laughs> what time do you usually start drinking? Why don't you tell our viewers, give them an insight into how the three of us know each other? We were all in prison together for a job we did. Yeah. Tammy was a getaway driver. She, yeah. But she got a license. She drove she into a wall. It. God. We all yeah. went down for 15. We went down for a long stretch. And then when we were in prison, we got a bum stretch. You pick yours up first from there, look. Look at me growing out of oh. And then you pick yours up, Al. Easy rider. Thousand subscribers and then I'll shave. Perfect. Yeah. Next question. But not all over. <laughs> Dirty shed vibrations. <laughs> Dirty shed vibrations. Three, and what you've learned. two, one. New pints. <laughs> new pints. Right. Uh, uh, that timer wasn't on from when we got the pint, mm -hmm. was it? Mm -hmm. Shut up, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. This is going to get, like, mate, you are just going to end up with like hours and hours of garbage to trawl through. It went all right. <laughs> I mean, we could, what's happened? It gone off. When, oh, how long yes. ago? Ah, uh, oh, what? Oh. It, we've got 20 minutes, haven't we, till opening, so. What would happen if it opened and we were still filming? Oh my gosh, we've got to do all that again. Question one was, how do you feel now the throne project is over and it is sitting here in all its glory? Brilliant. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Don't take my pipe. But also that you are. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Get the Finish beers line. in, son. Crikey, this is oh, quite this... terrifying. Oh, look at that. Take a woman. I finished my Lovely. drink. It's la, 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 To strength, to strength. I mean, it's like I talk and then he just walks in front of the camera like it doesn't matter. I'm very proud of how fantastic you are on the camera. You yeah, do a brilliant thanks job for being fantastic. No, but proud that is me. my compliment to you, but also that you are. See, I'm I bored think... with this, let's move on. Yeah, come, on. come on, let's go and get some chicken. <laughs> I mean, you try, you can't get anywhere, whatever. That is quite oh, some... No, I don't, don't take my pipe. Yeah. Speak <laughs> oh, that was a really good one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you see what I'm working with? 
If a movie was made of your life, who would play you going to Canada Boy? Play me? Mm -hmm. uh, the Clune Tang. Day Lewis. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'd have to method that sh inept. What computer ability? Is that a word? Just answer the question. Inept? Meh. Pretty good. I sniffed Pretty your hair. Freaking good, I'd say. I sniffed your hair. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I don't even it's know what's going on. Family. Dirty shed creations and me. We'll have another one of those pies, please, love. Uh, maybe I could give him some of my hair for okay, some of his stop, skinny. Stop, stop. <laughs> he loves Laura Bailey. I love Laura Bailey. I, I think am. I do still love so, Laura Bailey. We all love so, Laura Bailey. Anyway, so, anyway. What's she called? I get the beers in. I get the beers in, son. Crikey, this is... Oh. Yeah, Quite this, terrifying. Oh, look at Do you guys like just do a salad? <laughs> He's harvesting. <laughs> Don't be uncool. He's Ow. harvesting hot. So In order, you, I want you to say who said it and what these comments are. These are our eight best comments so far. I'm gone. <laughs> Wait, hang on. God, In just... a way, thank God for you. In another way, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, bye! <laughs>
he started at about my age and then has progressed and it really kind of to me I was like oh brilliant maybe I haven't missed the boat on that one um, so yeah we'll be you know tentatively kind of uh, getting into some engraving and it's really great to have Tim there who is a hand engraver specifically he does use a machine on occasion and he I mean he's just, it just stick with us and watch that that is just going to be so interesting yep. a real master craftsman you know in his workshop, kind of explaining stuff to us. It, just, I would, it was just really interesting stuff. You're going to love it. The Pistol Series. The Pistol Series. The Henry First Dock episode Pistol. coming soon. Coming soon. And when we say soon, what's that? Probably going to, within a week or so? Oh, it'll be pretty close off the back of whenever they watch this. Oh, we got cold to, uh, Yeah, someone said we should get a heater. But why yeah. won't you get a heater, Al? Costs, costs money. Costs money to heat elements. And, Frugal Al. I mean, I do have a heater for in here, but I don't use it, so, you know... Too busy moving, aren't Well, you know, if the forge is on, it's quite... Oh, have you done your back in? Uh, if the forge is running, it's quite hot in here. In fact, that's why the forge generally sits outside. But as it gets colder, uh, and we have been promised a really cold winter this winter, so it might be that we start bringing the forge in here and breathing all those toxic fumes. Yum, yum, yum. Let's talk about the coasters that we made for Halloween. And yeah. uh, they've been quite well received. It's been one of our more successful films and we're getting oh, some good. good comments. So, yeah, what do you think? What's the next stage with those to get them to a point where we can go, all right, we'll stick them on a shop and people can buy them if they like. What do you think well, we've got to do? I mean, well, I think we need to look at the, the felt on the underside. Now, there is a product out there which essentially what you do is you take the back of one of those coasters, you apply a glue to it, um, you then kind of take the felt and you drop it on and kind of basically what happens is the, the felt goes exactly where you want it to go. We had that issue with kind of cutting around the eye sockets, the nasal, or the ocular cavities, uh, cutting around the nasal cavities and, um, you know, tidying up around the teeth a little bit. So I think that would really tidy them up. But yeah. there is, you know, we didn't buy that for that project at that point. And it's, it's maybe a project... Or it's maybe a product that we'll look look into and yeah. see. But I think maybe sort that. I mean, as they are, they're great. They're a little, you know, silly little thing. Um, I love them. They've um, they've been <laughs> they've been used quite often at home. Uh, uh, t-shirts. T-shirts. So what we we'll probably have now is a shot of Tammy showing off her t-shirt that she got. We didn't get ours. I was really kind of gutted about they were but they're coming production bang you know what I mean oh, fucking rippling muscle look at that dirty shit creation what am I doing I need to stop that yeah you do <laughs> so yeah we, we've done some t-shirts it's sort of just a little test we did it with our logo very simple we did it with quite a small logo so it's is it upon the left hand breast mark uh, I don't know which side it's on actually. I think it did. No, it's uh, the right. No, is it the left? Or? I think it's the left. I think it's the left. It's a little hand one, side, so yeah. it's it's not showing off to each shed. Yeah. But it might be too small. So, what I'm going to do is, the small versions are already up online. But I think I'm going to do a bigger version, so it's like dirty shed, and then I'm going to do a big version, and it's like dirty shed. Like I'm that. a filthy dirty shed fan. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, it's just. Am I as dirty as the shed? Yeah. Question People have mark. asked for them, so. We've sorted it out. And yeah, we'll just put it out there and if you like them, buy them. Be and nice. If you, if you don't, just completely ignore everything we've just said. Yeah. So there's lots going on. We don't just sit in pubs getting drunk. We actually do some work. So yeah. Um, maybe you could sing us out with your new jingle. Al Watson. Al Watson. Doing stuff with wood. Al Watson. Al Watson. Let's hope the outcome's good. Bye bye. Stuff that looks like balls! <laughs>